Uh, my general area of research is in the area of chip design. So the chips are, of course, the things that go into our cell phones, in our laptops, in our computers. And my particular emphasis is on trying to make those chips very low power or very high performance and reliable. One of the, the big issues in our field is power consumption. For a long time, our big issue was trying to make the circuits go fast. Power is limiting how small we can make our computers. So one of my interesting projects right now that I'm working on is in low power. So typically a computer may be as large as your laptop or a cell phone. If we make the power very, very small, then we can shrink the battery down. And as we shrink the battery and the chips down in size, we can make the entire computing system the size of one millimeter. So that is essentially a, sort of a grain of salt. If we do that, then a number of new applications open up where we can use those little tiny computing systems to monitor different effects, to maybe implant them inside the human body or monitor environmental conditions and things like that. So another project we have is coping with the fact that as we scale the technology that we use to implement our chips, the transistors in that technology are becoming less and less predictable. What that means is that each manufactured chip will be a little bit different. And some chips will be slow and some chips will be fast. Now one thing we can do is that we can just take the slow chips and throw them away or run them very slowly. But that would sort of make things very expensive. The way we're coping with that for the chips is that we developed a new mechanism. They actually examine their own operation and then they adapt to uh, their conditions. And so each chip is designed to always on its own tune itself to run right at its own limit. And so therefore we don't waste any performance and we don't waste any power. And that allows us to run these chips much more efficiently. One of the most interesting things in my job is working with my research students on new fields of exploration where we go and examine things that we haven't looked at before and to see my research students uh, capture a new area of research to really understand it and then to really make contributions, novel contributions to it that lead to new technologies that are actually useful to our industry and to our society is really very exciting. Thank you.